Hey everyone, it's Adrian, and welcome back to my channel. So nice to have you here. So today I thought it would be fun to share some Disney stuff um, from small businesses, and then I do have a couple things from uh, the Disney store. But yeah, okay. First of all, this package arrived yesterday before I went to work. I haven't opened it, I just covered up my address. And this is Disney inspired scented candles. They are from Florida. So we're gonna open it and we're, I'm gonna smell them and have my first honest reaction, first impression. Oh, the company by the way is, where is it? Magic Candle Company in Florida. Okay, so shipping was really expensive. They were pretty expensive because of the exchange rate coming from America. But you know what? It's okay to treat yourself. So, all right. <gasps> you guys, they threw in a little pin. Are you kidding? Pirate Life? <gasps> I love that. That is so, so, so cute. I'm gonna put that on my bulletin board. Okay, put that off to the side. All right, what do we have first? one is churro. Okay, look at the cute packaging. Churro. All right, it says bringing the vacation to you. Absolutely. I don't know if you can read that sign. It says take me to Disney. But when you can't go to Disney, bring the Disney to you. Okay, wooden wick. Oh my gosh. This is cinnamon sugar heaven. Oh, wow. This is really good. <laughs> if you love cinnamon and sugary scents, this is for you. Oh, I would love to have a churro. Oh yeah, it says churro features cinnamon, sugar, and hints of bergamot and creamy dark chocolate. The middle notes contain even more cinnamon and sugar with a sweet and creamy vanilla base and just a touch of caramel drizzle. Uh, yeah. Okay, that one's fabulous. All right, I may have got multiples of some, so that's another churro. I'll take that out. Okay, this one is the one I'm most excited for, Pirate's Life. So this is meant to smell similar to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, which is one of my favorite rides in Disneyland and Disney World. Sorry if the plastic is so loud. I'm trying to not be annoying. Okay the cute little uh, pirate, a pirate, skull and, skull and crossbones. Is that, is that, yeah, that's what it's called. Hmm, you know what I mean. Okay, blue inside. Here we go. Hmm. It smells very aquatic, but not in a um, way that gives you a headache. <laughs> the body shop used to have a scent, Oceana or something, and I really didn't like that. Whoa. This is such an interesting scent. Okay, it says, capture the spirit and excitement of a, of a high seas adventure with our pirate life fragrance, featuring pleasant notes of uh, oceanic air, fresh rain, and salty sea breezes. This is so interesting. I like it but I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to burn it and see what it smells like, but very unique, very unique. Okay, so we have that. What do we have next? This one. There it is. It's fun just chatting with you, hanging out. <laughs> uh, pixie dust, okay. So what does pixie dust smell like? Oh, yellow. Mmm. Oh, this one is sweet, sugary, but again, not in a way that would give you a headache, at least not me. Um, it says, Pixie Dust features a blend of sweet berries, plums, pears, strawberries, and a hint of citrus sprinkled with sweet sugar crystals to create a truly magical aroma. <laughs> yeah. It smells exactly like the description. I kind of wish it was green in color, but 
The yellow's kind of cool. Hmm. All right. Moving on. What's next? Oh, I got two of the pirates one, by the way. <gasps> What's this? Oh my gosh. How cute is this? Ah! It's just to say thank you. We hope you enjoy your purchase. And it just looks so, so cute. It looks like a postcard. Ha! Huh. That's fun. Okay. And last but not least, also I got two of the uh, Pirates fragrance. Okay, last but not least, we have Mind Train. So this. Whoa, this is a very man manly, in quotation, scent. Like spicy. Okay, what does this one say? Mind Train features a rich base of vanilla, musk, and sandalwood, accompanied by lively top notes of jasmine, lavender, and orange. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this smells like a scent. Uh, Bath and Body Works Tw Twilight Woods? Is that what it's called? Oh, man. I don't know. I think it's called Twilight Woods. Something woods. That's what this smells like. Mmm. Oh, and it's brown inside. Cool. Oh man, which one am I gonna burn first? Which one would you pick to burn first? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, very good. Okay, moving right along. My shirt is from my dear friend Claudia. She has a small business in Edmonton. She does Disney inspired shirts, Harry Potter inspired shirts, and scrunchies. She even launched a scrunchie box, like subscription box. Oh, it looks so cool. They are all beautiful. I actually, uh, I teach dance and two of my classes are gonna be wearing her scrunchies for their recital. So very exciting, but yeah, how fun is this? Hair goals. And it's got all the princesses. Oh, so nice. Well, and Queen Elsa. <laughs> And um, yeah, I, okay, I'm gonna tell you the size. So if you don't wanna hear that, just don't listen for a, a couple seconds, okay? Um, so I'm wearing a size small. I am typically a size eight. Um, so if you want it to be a little looser, get a medium. Or if you're uh, larger than me, then you probably want to get a bigger size. And if you're smaller than me, probably an extra small. I think she carries extra small. But yeah, love this. I wore it in Disney World with my best friend Jenna and yeah, I got a couple compliments on it. So awesome shout out to her, to Claudia who made them. And like the quality of the shirt is nice too. It's not um, scratchy, it's very soft. Um, what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. All of her stuff is really cool. So, oh, the, the shop name, Second Star to the Right Co. So you can look her up on Instagram or on Etsy. But yeah, please support her if you can because her stuff is premium, very good quality. Okay, next, how about we talk about this little straw topper? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's made with a 3D printer. Hold on, let me take it off here. So it looks like this. And you can pick all different, like I pick pink, but you can pick all different colors and same with the crystals. So if you prefer red or blue or, um, she also does heart ones. Uh, this is, the company is Magically, Des Magically Designed Co. And she is in doo -doo -doo -doo, BC. Uh, I wanna say Victoria. Oh, I don't want to be wrong though, but she is in BC, I know. So this took about three weeks to get to me and I live in Cold Lake, Alberta. But again, it's custom. Like I think she makes them to order. How fun is that? And yeah, I just popped it on top of this silicone straw in this fun Starbucks cup. This is really old though. I've had this for years and years. Uh, it was a Christmas collection from Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I just have water in here. But yeah, so, so sparkly. I love that. I wonder if I can, hang on, shine my flashlight on it. Does it make it glitter? I don't know, but yeah. Oops, very nice. 
nice. Okay, now Disney ears. Mickey mini ears. We love them. When I went with Jenna in, was it 2019? I think it was 2019. Um, I wanted to get the rose gold ones. I was like dead set. I was like, I'm going there. I'm getting the rose gold ones. That's what I'm getting. We walked in the store. I was like, nope, I like these. <laughs> so I didn't get the rose gold ones. These are the only pair I own. But look at this little castle. Sparkles. Oh, so beautiful. So they're silver and then the bow has like a gold tint to it. I decided that um, moving forward when I go again, I'm going to get a pair, a different pair of ears. I just think they're so special and I mean, I only wear them in the Disney parks or for like Halloween, <laughs> but I just think they're really special and yeah. I love them. I love mine. So yeah, I've been to Disneyland once when I was 18. So I hadn't gone to Disney anything until I was 18 years old. So if you're watching this for some reason and you are under 18 and you're thinking, well, I didn't get to go to Disney as a kid. Neither did I. You can go as an adult and it's still so magical, honestly. So yeah, I went in when I was 18 with my uh, some of my cheer friends because we had a competition. And then I went to Disney World for the first time with my friend Simone. So hi Simone if you're watching. <laughs> and uh, when was that? Was it, I want to say 2012? So I was 22, I think. I might have been 21. Anyway, then, oh sorry, I'm mixing up all my dates. So I went to Disneyland. Then I went to Euro Disney with my friend Sarah because we were in Paris, we were in France. And then I went to Disney World with Simone. And then I went to Disney World with Jenna in 2019, did I say? I think? Um, yeah, they were all really magical times, but I just going with Jenna, cause she'd never been, it was such a fun oh, experience. Like we, for example, we went to Starbucks and uh, they write your name on the cup so that they can yell out to keep orders organized. And so I asked them to write Princess Adrian and Princess Jenna, and they shout it out like that. So totally try that next time you go to Disney, because it's, that's just such a fun thing to do. And oh man, I have so many little stories, but let me show you a couple more things. So this is from Daniel's parents, the shirt. Oh, are you kidding? Disney, little Disney food, little donuts. Mm. After smelling that churro, I could go for a churro or a donut. Yeah, so love this. Um, and then this bag. Oh, are you serious? More Disney treats? I'm 100% taking this to Disney next time I get to go. Oh, yeah. So yeah, some great little stuff. Also, I'm obsessed with Frozen, but I'm not going to show any of my Frozen stuff in here because I think sometime in the future I'll do a separate video for that, plus a bunch of it's at my parents' house. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like this. It was fun, kind of showing off my stuff, but I don't want it to be in a braggy way. I just want to support some small businesses and show you some cute stuff, so maybe you could feel inspired too. everybody that is all for now I have some little stories from Florida but I think I'm gonna save them for when I do my uh, frozen video which I don't know when I'm gonna do that but yeah thanks for watching thanks for hanging out um, yeah so glad to have you here and cheers enjoy your day or night or whatever whatever time of day it is you're watching this. All right, see you later.